एवरीवन माय नेम इज मनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फैक्टर प्राइसिंग व्हेन देयर इज परफेक्ट कंपटीशन इन बोथ अ मार्केट प्रोडक्ट मार्केट एज़ वेल एज़ इन फैक्टर मार्केट इन केस ऑफ परफेक्ट कंपटीशन विद इन बोथ मार्केट प्राइसेस आर डिटरमिनड बाय इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ डिमांड एंड सप्लाई इन केस ऑफ परफेक्ट कंपटीशन विद इन बोथ मार्केट प्रोडक्ट मार्केट एज वेल एज फैक्टर मार्केट प्राइजेज आर डिटर्मिंड बाय इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ डिमांड एंड सप्लाई एज वी नो इन केस ऑफ परफेक्ट कंपटीशन फॉर्म्स आर प्राइज टेकर दैट्स वाई फॉर्म्स कैन नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस प्राइजेज इन बोथ मार्केट्स इन केस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट मार्केट प्राइजेज मीन्स प्राइजेज ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज बट इन केस ऑफ फैक्टर मार्केट प्राइजेज मीन्स प्राइजेज ऑफ इनपुट एज वी नो लेबर इज इनपुट एंड प्राइजेज ऑफ लेबर आर वेजेज फर्स्टली वी विल सी इक्वली बिरियम इन प्रोडक्ट मार्केट क्वान्टिटीज टोटल रिवेन्यू प्राइज विच इज इक्वल टू एवरेज रिवेन्यू मार्जिनल रिवेन्यू as we know we can calculate average revenue when we divide total revenue with quantities uh, 10 divided by 1 is equal to 10 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10 same way you can calculate for other marginal revenue means change in total revenue by selling one more additional unit initially total revenue is 10 at second unit total revenue is 20 20 minus 10 is equal to 10. This 10 will be called change in total revenue by selling one more additional unit. Similar, 30 minus 20 is equal to 10. This 10 will be called marginal revenue. 40 minus 30 is equal to 10. 10 will be called our marginal revenue. So here you can see total revenue and marginal revenue both are equal to each other. So we can say that in case of perfect competition, firms can not influence the prices. They are just price taker. They have to accept the prices. That's why in case of perfect competition, prices, average revenue and marginal revenue all are equal to each other. On x axis we have quantities. On y axis we have average revenue, marginal revenue. revenue and prices here you can see no matter how many quantities firm are selling uh, prices will remain a uh, constant and this horizontal uh, this horizontal line represent average revenue marginal revenue and prices which are equal to each other now we will see long run equilibrium in case of a perfect competition here we have two diagrams this diagram represent a firm this diagram represent industry this horizontal line represent marginal revenue and average revenue this one average cost this one marginal cost dd demand ss supply on uh, x axis we have quantities y axis we have prices x axis quantities y axis prices e is equilibrium point of firm uh, under perfect competition during long time period there are two conditions of equilibrium marginal cost equal to marginal revenue second condition marginal cost cut marginal revenue from below at e point you can see marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue plus marginal cost cutting marginal revenue from below so we can say that e is equilibrium point of firm during long time period under perfect competition at this equilibrium point a firm is receiving normal profit now we will see equilibrium of industry industry is equilibrium point because at this point uh, demand and supply curve intersect with each other as we earlier discussed under perfect competition uh, prices are determined by intersection of uh, demand and supply curves so e will be called equilibrium of industry and op is equilibrium prices and oq is equilibrium quantities before knowing about factor market we should learn about some terms vmp and mrp vmp represent value of marginal product mrp represent marginal revenue product what is marginal product marginal product means additional output received by employing one more unit of any input or labor here our main input is labor that's why we can say that marginal product means additional output received by employing one more unit of labor we can calculate vmp when we multiply price with mp we can calculate mrp when we multiply marginal revenue with mp mp means marginal product as we know in case of perfect competition price is equal to marginal revenue 
So here is MP, here is MP. If price is equal to uh, merger revenue, that means we can say that in case of perfect competition, VMP will always equal to MRP. So in case of perfect competition, value of merger product will always equal to merger revenue product. First column we have VMP which is equal to MRP. Second column we have wage rate. Wage rate is price of input. As we know labor is our input and price of input is wage rate. Under perfect competition prices remain constant because firm is a price taker. That's why here you can see our wages are constant. This will be called equilibrium point because at this point VMP is equal to wage rate. Above this you can see VMP is more than wages. Below this you can see VMP is less than wages. This will be called equilibrium point of form. That means in case of perfect competition, form will continue higher labor as long as wage rate is less than or equal to VMP. But form will not higher labor if VMP is less than wages. Obviously, VMP is value of marginal product of labor. How can form higher labor if VMP is less than wages? So this will be called equilibrium point of form under perfect competition market in case of factor market. Now we see a diagram. Here we have two diagrams. First diagram represent labor market. Our main input is labor that's why we are taking labor market. Second diagram represent a firm. On x axis we have quantities of factor, quantities of factor. Y axis we have wage rate, wage rate. DD is demand of labor, SS is supply of labor. E will be called equilibrium point because under perfect competition market price or we can say that wages are determined by intersection of demand and supply. O W will be called equilibrium wages. In, in this diagram this horizontal line represent uh, wages as we know uh, wages are constant under perfect competition market and this curve represent our VMP and VMP is equal to MRP as we earlier discussed. E will be called equilibrium point because at this equilibrium point wages are equal to VMP. Before this you can see VMP is more than wages. After this point you can see wages are more than v uh, VMP. So E will be called equilibrium point. At this point VMP is equal to wages. So this is all about uh, factor pricing in case of perfect competition market. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.